Well, thanks, Natasha. This winter weather is causing havoc on the roads. Our Ariel Salk live in Mobile 6 with the latest. Yeah, we saw a devastation all over southeast, northeast, southwest Portland. Trees fallen. And unfortunately, houses. Now, I want to show you this. Take a look. This massive tree has fallen on top of this apartment complex, ripping out an entire, what appears to be an entire unit. And unfortunately, they are not alone. I could recognize the noise. It was a very loud thud uh, reverberated through the house. Trees falling, doing damage in northeast Portland. I could recognize the noise. It was a very loud thud uh, reverberated through the house. One fell near Larry Kin's home. His neighbor wasn't so lucky. It wasn't until we heard our neighbor calling out for help. Um, so at that point, I was able to reassure her mom. She lives with her mom next door. Uh, and, and let her know that things would be OK. She was too shaken up to speak on camera and asked that we didn't show the destruction that was her home. But her neighbor tells us what he saw. The house kind of crashed through her second story. So um, her whole little trailer is kind of destroyed. It's really sad. And she isn't alone. Over in northeast Paddington and Flanders, neighbors describe the sound of a tree falling next door. It was just a whoosh. And the whole house just whooshed. But it was instant and it really, it just fell. There was no, if you were under that tree, that's it. The crash was so strong, she felt it in her home. Oh, the whole house went like um, up down, yeah. yeah, and a whoosh. And you felt it and I felt it and the cat still is hiding. I have no idea where the cat is. More trees could be at risk for falling. Ken's advice? Be a good neighbor. Stay safe, everybody. You know, uh, stay warm if you can. There's open shelters, I hear. Um, there's a lot of rolling power outages. So just, just be aware and, and be neighborly, you know. Yeah, and with all these uh, fallen trees, we're also seeing a lot of fallen power lines and rolling blackouts, leaving thousands of people without power during the storm. Reporting live, Ariel Salk, Coin 6 News. Thanks, Ariel. Portland